If you are new to this channel, please subscribe by pressing the subscribe button and then click on all to get notifications of all new videos. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be explaining you all the differences between impulse turbine and reaction turbine. So, we will be seeing all the 21 differences that we have. So, without wasting any time, let's start. Let's see the first difference that is based on the definition itself. Impulse turbine, the type of turbine in which only kinetic energy of the water that is the impulse force is used to rotate the turbine is known as impulse turbine. Reaction turbine, the type of water turbine in which both kinetic energy as well as pressure energy of water is used to turn the turbine is called as reaction turbine. Let's see the second difference that is based on the water flow. Water flow in impulse turbine, the water flows through a nozzle and strikes the blade of the turbine. Whereas in reaction turbine, the water is guided by the guide blades, those are fixed blades, to flow over the turbine. Secondly, in impulse turbine, the water jet is fully expanded after passing through the nozzles. Whereas in reaction turbine, water flow remains partially pressurized as it passes through the rotor. Third, Fluid that is typically water or steam flows through nozzles to form high velocity jets that impact the turbine blades in case of impulse turbine. Whereas in reaction turbine, fluid flows continuously and undergoes pressure changes as it passes through the stationary and rotating blades. Next is based on the working principle itself. So, impulse turbine, it converts kinetic energy of a high velocity jet of fluid into mechanical work. Whereas, reaction turbine converts pressure energy of a fluid into mechanical work as it passes through the rotor. Next is based on the nozzle arrangement. In impulse turbine, fixed or adjustable nozzles direct fluid into high velocity jets. Whereas, in reaction turbine, nozzles are not prominent, nozzles are not used. Whereas, pressure changes occur within the rotor passage itself. Next is based on the blade design. So, blades are designed to capture the kinetic energy of the fluid's velocity in case of impulse turbine. Whereas, in case of reaction turbine, the blades are designed to efficiently convert the pressure energy of the fluid into mechanical work. Next difference is based on force on blades. In impulse turbine, an impulsive force rotates the turbine. Whereas, in reaction turbine, a reaction force on the blades rotates the turbine. Next difference is based on pressure of water while flowing over the moving blades. In impulse turbine, the pressure of water remains unchanged and is equal to atmospheric pressure when it flows over the moving blades. In reaction turbine, the pressure of water continuously decreases when it flows over the blades. Next difference based on decrease in pressure of water. In impulsive turbine, the pressure of water is reduced in the nozzle before entering the turbine. Whereas in reaction turbine, the pressure of water is decreasing while flowing over the blades. Next is change in pressure of water. In impulse turbine, all the pressure of water is converted into kinetic energy before striking the turbine blades. Whereas in case of reaction turbine, there is no change in the pressure of water before striking the turbine blades. Next difference is based on operating speed. So generally, impulse turbine operates at very high speeds due to high velocity jets. Whereas reaction turbine operates at lower speeds compared to impulse turbines. Next difference is based on water head. Impulse turbines are most suitable for large water heads and reaction turbines are suitable for relatively low water heads. Next difference is based on water flow rates. The impulse turbines are suitable for comparatively low water flow rates whereas reaction turbines are suitable in cases where the water flow rates are relatively higher. Next we see the difference based on necessity of tubing casing. In case of impulse turbine, there is no necessity for any tubing casing as it does not have any hydraulic function, it is just provided to prevent splashing of water. Whereas in case of reaction turbine, the tubing casing is required definitely because the pressure at inlet is very high as compared to pressure at outlet. Therefore, the casing seals it from atmospheric pressure. Next, we see the difference based on blade profiles. So, the blades of an impulse turbine are of symmetrical profile, also known as semi-elliptoidal bucket type. Whereas the blades of reaction turbine are asymmetrical having aerofoil profile. So, similar to the profile of an airplane wing. Okay. Next, we see the difference based on blade shape and number. There are very few blades, usually very bigger size in case of impulse turbine. Whereas, in case of reaction turbine, very large number of blades are there having multiple rows. But, those are smaller in size. Next, we see the difference based on water discharge in impulse turbine. The water discharges directly from the turbine wheel to the tail rays. Whereas in case of reaction turbine, the water discharges into a draft tube first and then it is sent into the tail rays. 
So basically a draft tube is an additional component in case of reaction turbine. Next we see the difference with respect to efficiency. So in general the efficiency of an impulse turbine is much higher than reaction turbine and is of the order of 93 to 95% and if the lower head is there and higher flow rate is there then this efficiency can go up to 98-99% as well. Whereas the efficiency of reaction turbine is much lower due to two factors. One is larger number of blades are there. So there will be losses, huge number of mechanical and hydraulic losses will be there. Secondly, there are additional components like draft tube etc. which will be causing much more efficiency drops. So in general, the efficiency of reaction turbine will be lesser than impulse turbine. Next, we see the difference with respect to specific speed. So the specific speed in case of impulse turbine is very high due to high velocities. Whereas in case of reaction turbine, the specific speed is very low. Next, we see the difference with respect to turbine size. So for the same power output, if we compare both impulse and reaction turbines, size of impulse turbine will be much more smaller and compact as compared to reaction turbine. Next, we see the difference with respect to application. So impulse turbine, it is well suited for high head and low flow conditions. Whereas the reaction turbine, it is well suited for medium to low head and higher flow condition applications. Lastly, we see the type of examples. So popular examples of impulse turbine are belt and wheel turbine, turbo turbine and cross flow turbine. Whereas for reaction turbine, popular are Francis turbine and Kaplan turbine. I have already covered belt and wheel turbine in very detail, covering all the theory derivations as well as the numericals in two separate videos. I will give the direct links in the video description and you can watch those videos as well. So these covered all the 21 differences between impulse turbine and reaction turbine. I hope you have found the video helpful. Please do like, share and comment. Do check out our website and also please check out all the links in the video description. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and press the bell icon as well. Also, you can support the channel by joining the channel membership. Till next time, take care. Bye.